I live in Florida. I hear, I'm here at a friend's yard who has a big deficiency because they have no swimming pool. So we're in Florida. So they are putting in a swimming pool, spa, lap pool. How's the work going? Well, it's about five days of work spread over five months because a bulldozer will show up and scrape off all the sod and it's, nothing will happen for three weeks. And then an excavator comes in with a team of eight people and they dig this hole and put this framing in in one day, in an eight hour period. Since then, there's been two weeks of non-activity. Why? We're waiting on the inspector. Then what happens? Then we're gonna wait on the concrete truck. Then what happens? Then we're gonna wait on the tiling person. So there's a gap, 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 gap. That's the red work. The job of the blue workers is to close the seam on the red work to create, to minimize those uh, unnecessary interdependencies and to just close those seams up. Beating on the people digging this hole to do faster will have zero impact on whether the pool gets put in faster. It's about saying, okay, let's line up these things in order and go from A to B to C to D with minimum gaps. So it's not the red work that's holding us up, it's the blue work. But because it's a lot easier to just yell at the person digging the hole and say, dig it faster, that's too, too much the leadership behavior that we see. The job of leaders is to, is to be smart on closing the seams and the red work, not beating on the people doing the red work to do it like 0.2% faster. I'm David Marquet, that's your leadership nudge. Hopefully this thing will be eventually done for my friend.